I've got three chemicals here. That's asking for trouble. Right there's trouble. Let's do a digit count. I've got 10, how many? Nine. Got 10. Nine, okay. 11. 11, okay, we come out 30. So we're gonna end up with 30 because we are doing something dangerous today. Now I am breaking one of the rules, I'm setting down, but you're standing up because all chem no chemist would set down at a chemical table because if some of these chemicals would spill and just maybe hit your toes, but it wouldn't land in your lap. Because I've got three chemicals here, KMNO4. Potassium, see the K, MN is Magnesium. Mang manganese. Okay. Mg is magnesium. This is manganese. And kind of O is for oxygen. All those extra oxygens on there make this kind of a, a mean son of a gun right there. Okay. And there's another bottle of it. This one's just been ground up a little bit. Oh, then this one right here that I've got in a plastic bag, sulfuric acid, but look at how strong it is. What does it say? 96%. 18 molar. Very strong. See, see, it says 18. That means moles per liter. We'll study that later <laughs> in chemistry. But that means this is mean stuff. And what's this here? Acetone. 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 Wizard 4, you're not going to be mixing these together, are you? That's asking for trouble. Right there's trouble. And then if I add this, you're really asking for trouble. Oh, truly. So okay. we're going to use very small amounts to start out with. That's very good. <laughs> now, in case we have an accident with the acid, it's water that's got baking soda in it. If I would spill some of that acid on you, I would dump this whole thing on you to rinse it off. I would, but you'd want me to, believe me. Yeah, I guess and then I've got I would. An, an eye wash too, if we happen to get some in your eye. I want you to take this little spatula and just scoop some of it out and put it right here in the center of this. Before you guys came in, I put some sulfuric acid right there. So Elliot, I'm gonna have you take this dropper, three or four drops on that right there. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, like smoke. I just it's touched okay. it and it started making a little smoke. Are you ready to do this? Yes. Think you can do one drop? What are we just lit on fire? Should I do what? one more drop or no? <laughs> is that a fast reaction? Oh yeah. Man, that's that's quite a reaction, isn't it? Do you would you say those chemicals? It, it looks like kind of like a mushroom. Cloud yeah, the mushroom. Cloud. Cloud. Would you say those chemicals are very active when they come together? Yes. Yeah. Yes, they are. There's just one drop. One of acid. drop. That yeah, that was big. What happened well, there? I don't know. Well, it was like it. turned red, and there's all these little wispy things. Well, we're not going to study the nature of the chemical reaction, but what would you say is one of the products of that reaction? Fire, heat, and light. All right. And then I'm not going to write it out. What the acid and the permanganate were reacting. This was acting as a hydrofuel, hydrocarbon, acetone. That was kind of a neat chemical reaction. They want to exchange electrons and yeah. give off a lot of energy. Yeah. yeah. They did. They made fire. They made fire. A lot of it. Just imagine back in 1820, this would be four matches. How would you start a fire? Use stones, make sparks. Make sparks, yeah. How long do you think it might take to do that? A couple hours. Just to get ready to fix breakfast. That'd be kind of a pain, oh. wouldn't it? And one of the earliest chemical reactions was using something not like, but they'd have either acid or glycerin and a permanganate or some chemical similar to this, and they would carry it around in little boxes. And guess what they call those? Match boxes. They had a little metal rod and they'd mix them together and then that way they could light a fire. I wanted you to see this reaction that when permanganate and acid mix along with a little hydrocarbon, you get instant fire. So everybody say goodbye. Goodbye. goodbye.